Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Chatham Island Raven. Birds that, while being a subspecies of the closely related New Zealand Raven, were a fair bit larger and are in fact among the largest passerines. I hope you enjoy. Chatham Island Ravens were the larger of the two extinct raven subspecies found in New Zealand, weighing up to a kilogram, putting them alongside other ravens and the superb lyrebird of Australia as one of the largest passerines. Like most other ravens and crows, they had similar proportions and very likely plumage and behaviour as well, also retaining the power of flight. Interestingly though, it was found that they did have slightly smaller wings, a shallower sternal keel and a smaller pygostyle, indicating that while they could still fly, it was reduced. Birds and their remains were most common in coastal sites on the Chatham Islands, after which they are named, with a few also being known from the nearby Pitt Islands. They therefore may have frequented the seal and penguin colonies that would have been present, something which is also observed being done by the Tasmanian forest ravens. Therefore, they were likely to have preyed upon unprotected seal and sea lion pups, regurgitations, eggs, chicks, and the occasional carrion. They were sister taxa to the surviving Australian ravens, which includes the aptly named Australian, Little and Forest ravens, with them diverging in the late Pliocene about 2.6 million years ago. It was originally thought that the Chatham Island birds were a separate species to the mainland ravens, although a 2017 genetic research paper determined that the two populations were in fact subspecies rather than being two separate ones, splitting around 130,000 years ago. They unfortunately became extinct after Moriori settled on the Chatham Islands well before European contacts, with the presence of their bones and middens showing that they were indeed hunters and eaten by people. Other factors may very well have included the enormous destruction of the once numerous seal and seabird colonies which they relied upon for food, with said overhunting also affecting the mainland ravens. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Spearwings Plover, bold and territorial birds that are notable for arriving in New Zealand and going from fully protected to having said protection removed 80 years after their first breeding record. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.